So investors can invest in private equity in four different ways. Directly, through funds, through co-investments, and through secondaries. So let's start off with direct investments. Direct investments, just like what they sound, when an investor goes and directly invests in private companies. It could be buying the entire company, or it could be a minority investment. Second, we'll talk about fund investing. This is when an investor goes to a private equity fund, and the private equity fund will buy companies on the investor's behalf. And three, probably the most complicated, is co-investing. So let's say our investor over here invests in a private equity fund and gives them $50 million. But it says to the fund, I'll give you this $50 million as long as I have co-investment rights. Okay? So what that means is when the fund looks for deals, it can allow the investor to participate not only through the fund, but directly as well. Let's use an example. So let's say the fund is looking at an investment in a $40 million company. And let's say it needs 30 million in equity and 10 million in debt. Now the equity portion without co-investing would be given by the fund, usually the $30 million. But in the case of co-investing, the fund is only gonna give 20 million, which the investor is participating through the fund, but the remaining 10, the difference between the 20 million in equity given by the fund and the 30 equity needed is offered to the investor to do on a direct basis. So then the fund will take 20, and then the investor will take 10. Now this is advantageous to the investor because when the investor goes through the fund, the investor's paying full fees. They're paying two and 20 usually, but we're gonna talk more about fees in a, in a following video. But with the extra 10, the investor has the opportunity to go direct, therefore, pay very little fees on this. Maybe there's a deal origination fee, but usually it's not very much. So they're able to get their fees down and get access to deals directly. So the fourth way to invest in private equity is through secondaries. So let's look at our investor again that invested $50 million in this private equity fund. Now, the investor didn't actually give $50 million to the private equity fund. It made a commitment of $50 million. So what, what's involved in that? Well, the investor usually gives about 10 to $20 million to the private equity fund up front to fund the first few acquisitions. Then as more acquisitions are made, the private equity fund makes capital calls to the investor. Now, the investor is locked in seven to 10 years, usually the private equity fund, and sometimes even longer. So if the investor wants to get out of this agreement, well, it can't just cancel it. But what it can do is it can sell the commitments to other investors. Now it can sell the entire commitment, which would include the existing deals that the private equity fund has already made, plus future capital calls, or it can do something called a structured secondary, where it can sell different parts. So it may wanna keep the existing investments and just sell the future commitments. And as easy as an, as an investor can sell a secondary in private equity, it could also buy one as well. 